Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign in Attila Total War. My name is Ben Pope. If you watched last episode to the end, you saw that politically we gained a lot of land. Um, and that's thanks to a mod which allows you to confederate uh, with like-minded folks. So I think the only one left that I could do that with is the Visigoths. Uh, you see there, same, same people, same blood. Uh, the modder has changed the the wording where it says same people instead of instead of same blood um, you know like related li related tribes uh, which we were used to seeing in Rome to Total War but now in Attila um, he made this option available and the mod is in the description of the video if you want to go check it out there's a link there for uh, pretty much the whole collection of mods that I have installed that I or that I use at some point not all of them are installed for it for this playthrough for example um, so the problem is uh, you know they were like being threatened by all these Huns and there's nothing else out here if you look at the land again everything is desolate um, I don't know if this is yeah this is all desolate and then Arabs uh, Middle East factions there so I technically have a lot of land now but I have to deal with all those Huns and they're not at war with me but likely they will likely declare war now since there's nothing else for them to harass there's a lot of resources here that I could go grab and keep hold of uh, including the, the gold resource there which I have to build the mine itself because the AI did not build it same with the furs here um, yeah, for example, see I'm getting 40 wine there, that's because I actually have that building. So, yes, uh, today's priority is, I keep doing that, I, I, I keep thinking that escape is going to get me out of there. Uh, today's priority is to survive against all those Huns, and there's, there's probably, probably no way I'm going to do that, but we'll, um, we'll send our, our main army from here, our faction leader will send him out M likely I'll send a spy with him uh, though there is a um, a hero champion dude hero um, spy to kind of spy but I don't need to spy I'll be fine I'll keep the spy here in case something comes up to attack me um, I guess the spy could go and keep an eye on on the Huns themselves. Uh, this priestess is gonna come out here to help with public order. I think she's already helping by being there. Um, and I'll have to build up another army in this area so I'll work on that in a bit. On the Black Sea I believe we're holding well enough with what we have at Anacopia. Uh, likely I will improve uh, that Stenaris um, is part of this okay so that's getting demolished to allow space for the gold mine I don't have any sort of sanitation there so that's a problem uh, and let's move up let's look at okay Jalonus Probably don't need the Chieftain Hall. Uh, it's nice to have the livestock pens. We're gonna take that down and make ourselves a um, sanitation building. Here we have disease. So we're gonna move these guys out. And I believe um, I might as well upgrade all of these. It will use up some of my money, but it will make them stronger. This is a lot of spears, but that's kind of okay for fighting Huns, I think. These are mercenary step riders, but I might keep them just because I don't think I have much of an option for recruiting horse units. Uh, I could get rid of the pikes. Uh, let's move our army over here. 
Let's see what we can recruit here. We have... We definitely have need of more missile units. Uh, this crossbowman... Probably worth taking. Crossbowman. Looks like that's all I can recruit. Um, possibly because I have a full line. So two crossbowmen. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of a couple of spears. And uh, I don't know. Get one gothic archer. How about this? Another gothic archer and another crossbowman. We'll see. We'll work with that. You guys... Step... Supposed to upgrade this and make it 235. This person is 239. He could upgrade to something. Oh, he just upgrades the horses. Can I recruit any horses? I believe there is a horse here. There is a horse. <laughs> Germanic rider. Uh, it's a lot more expensive. But tell you what, I don't really like... Excuse me. I don't really like having mercenaries much, so... We will get rid of him. Upgrade all these guys. It doesn't cost very much. And again... Oh, that was a retrain and now it's an upgrade. Okay, so 1900 for the upgrades. Cool. Armor and stuff. And we can have another dude on horse. I have a lot of slingers here, but I should be fine. Again, I'm not seeing the use of the pike. So we will get... Yeah, let's get another... Let's get another swordsman. They have okay armor too. Yeah. We need good fighters. So that's really the only two... Father, How can I help? Two armies that I have defending up here. This city might get attacked. If I move up... I could improve the farms. And that's it. That's the end of the line. So, tell you what, let's just end the turn. It's been... Jeez, I probably have... Yep, I have plenty of land without governors. Who can be a governor? Uh, you can be a governor. I also noticed that I don't think I have... an heir. So he's a high king. Uh, he's got an uncle, he's got brothers, and I don't think I have an heir at all. Let's see who is the coolest I could do. I could do this guy. Yep, I could definitely do this guy here. He's got a beard. Make him an heir. Okay. Governors. Right. Who who wants to be a governor? You guys can be governors, right? Uh, he's an heir, so we're not going to use him as a governor. Uh, we can use this guy as a governor. He's seeking a wife right now. Will that mess up his wife seeking? Does not. Okay. And we'll make... Champion Rider versus Relentless Attacker versus Overseer. Sounds like a good idea. And I need one more, so... I'm out of money, I can't do it. Let's issue some edicts. Um, public order. Construction and growth. I don't know. To religious influence there, and whatever the other section is, 
do the same thing. And I cannot assign any governors, so I will continue. Woo! Alright. Sorry about that long intro, though it was needed. I personally didn't know what was going on, and I felt like if I just look at what's going on on my own and just kind of jump in and do things, you guys will know what's going on. So, that that gave us a nice introduction. Likely, uh, the Huns will split up, which is okay for me, I think. I think that's fine. Um, if I declare war on them and uh, kind of single out their armies without them being only one spot, that actually would help me out. So maybe there won't be a fight today against the Huns, but there's definitely a lot of managing to do with the vast empire that we have now. Things like building the right buildings, which the AI seems to not do. Um, maybe capture more terrain, uh, strengthen up our armies. I'll have to intercept those guys. That should be fun. Now, of course, the smart thing to do is bring a small force in Tanais, Um in case somebody died. All right. This person is still wavering his loyalty, and yes, you may marry. Okay, uh, also you may marry as well, because I asked for that. That should make us immune to attrition. Just gonna sit there for a second. Hans are right there. This person can do the same. These guys have a garrison. Oh my goodness, they don't. <laughs> um, the okay. Well, here's the thing. We're gonna chase them down with our spy. We have two spies here. Um, this city has a garrison. Very tiny freaking garrison. These guys seem to have more. How does that work? Maybe because of this building. No, that doesn't even give us any. Okay, so I have to keep um, disembarking this. Is there like a one button, one turn disembark for the whole building? I don't really want to just downgrade. Can you guys put that option in please? Ready for battle. Okay. Um, if we force march to that city, we will take some losses, won't we? I don't think we have any roads, but might as well. Took some losses, but next turn we can take those guys out. And yeah, we'll put these guys inside the city. Can we not go inside the city? There we go. And you may, you may trade some guys. You may train some guys. Let's see. Uh, we have crossbows which we could use uh, these are gothic archers which are fine um, I guess a couple of a couple of spears Fight with us. a couple it's of a good life. swordsmen just in case we get attacked uh, and my faction leader was moving on its own wasn't he so you should probably just sit. You may walk here and improve public order with this, right? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it's only negative one now. Okay. Um, 
Where is this place? Yeah, this has to... No. There, that's what I want. Jeez. Okay, so we have 12,000. Might as well invest it, huh? What can we possibly invest in? We'll invest in some forces. Like that. Nice sword unit. Got a lot of damage. Hmm. Golly, I don't know what to do. Alright, um, how about I just upgrade some towns? What's really important? Thessalonica might need something. Theridica. Population surplus is needed there. I have two sanitation spared. It will cause a lot more. Maybe I can... Yeah, I could do that one. Let's see. Sermium. No, that's not Sermium. That's our capital. Let's let's convert our capital. Cool. And we have no sanitation available, so I better upgrade stores next. Uh, this would also cost seven thousand. Skills. You're a general. How about more ammo for you? And... Sure. And... Hmm. Morale. Cav units upgrades. No fatigue. All right. Ready for orders. Uh, this guy looks cool. I, I'm not even sure where he is. Oh, he is in my faction leader's army. Okay, let's give him. Um, sabotage. I forgot what I was going to do. Raid settlement sounds like fun. Assault a unit. And reduce fatigue to army. Sounds like fun as well. Um, replenishment would be good. Yeah, let's just do raid settlement. And we still have a governor to, to assign because last time we couldn't. Apparently, there are two governors we can assign. Dignitary trade. All right, so Pannonia didn't have a governor. Oh, the guy died. Right. Attacker, champion, rider. Mm. I guess we'll just recruit better cap units there. And that spent my money. Um, we need public order. So we're gonna influence religion and do the same for here. All right, that was a lot of fun, huh? And by a lot of fun, I mean I, I was so lost and confused. Hopefully, I made it. Uh, I made it sound like like I know like I knew what I was doing. Um, Getting thirsty from all the talking, so I will take a sip of water. I'm okay with the Huns running around while there's winter, so they can take 
all sorts of damage. They may also raid my land, I don't really care. If I was to get rid of these Huns, um, I could then maybe take over all this desolate land without much um, resistance. That's the word I'm need needing. Yeah, I think that's a plan. I think I think I will eventually start a war against them. Uh, these guys are gonna try to attack me. They think they're all that, and I'm gonna so take those guys out. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny as hell. Let's do it. Military investment. Um, agent exposed. Who cares about that? The militia. Uh, let's make sure it's gone. It is gone. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna put in, I was gonna put in um, these guys. Well, got some sanitation there. Right? Or else we'll just break out in disease. Another oh, chieftain hall was demolished. Sadly, it had to be done. I must demolish it again because it was. Three. All right, Serdica finished something. Town center, meeting hall, markers. I could do a meeting hall there. I don't actually know what I was gonna do. I think I'll just do market stalls. Yeah. Not that expensive. This chieftain house can stay, I suppose. Uh, and we're making a lot less money now. This person got loaded dice. I think we're making less money because I have recruited quite a few units. I'm um, being sieged here. Ready for orders. Apparently that's not gonna work. So we're gonna decline that attack. Uh, let's see if we can hinder the army. We can ruin their provisions, but it will just be a negative outcome all the way. So we will not do that. How about you? Can you ruin these guys? Misdirect army. Oh my goodness, that's just not a very good chance. Right, uh, this unit of oh, his army is fairly replenished, so let's go take them out. I know they're gonna run away, uh, but we're still gonna take them out. So. And uh, I know that I'm probably close to being out of time, but I will go ahead and fight this anyway. They have mercenary Persian skirmishers, which I don't know if they're any good. I mean, these guys, they look fierce, uh, but I have numbers advantage and we haven't had a fight for a while and this just feels like a good idea at at this moment I have a lot of arrows that I can toss at their faces arrows shall rain uh, same with some onager fire and they have camels which I'll have to watch out for so that's about it Gonna start deployment. Okay, um, we need to come from up high with our uh, our dudes. We need our spears in a long line. In fact, we need our spears on the side. And we will mix in these guys.
Can you just do it? Can you just mix it? Sweet. All right. You guys take the front line. We won't break formation for now. Uh, you guys can crossbow on the edge here. Um. And you guys can watch our backs with our general. Okay. Uh, kind of what I have in mind for these guys. Um, of course, I left my Onager where it was at, so I have to move forward uh, quite a bit. And we're gonna go in and see if we can harass them with these guys. They don't have any ammo, but... Um, let's see if we can take out some of these guys here. I'm not really downhill. So, i move forward a bit more. I want to distract them a little bit at least. Of course, my. Okay, where's my foxman? Foxman going here. We will pierce their hearts. Mm, you're gonna take that charge, it's not good. Get him. The enemy have rallied their units. Come on. No. Right, I don't know what's going on because I'm from I'm looking at, at the action from here, but I want to see some camels get killed, so let's do it. You die, die, there we go. Oh, no. Our general is being attacked. Keep him alive. The enemy general is fallen. Cool. Where's our general? The tide of battle turns in our favor. Come back this way. Oh, I lost quite a few of the swordsmen. Uh, you can go over there, sir. Uh, you can probably... Yeah, you're fine. Uh, we're gonna chase some people down. If we don't chase everybody down, then they will likely come back or you know stay stay alive I didn't really get many cool uh, 
shots of things getting killed, so maybe I can get something here. Uh, that camel just died. He got interrupted. Yeah! Get him, get him. Come on, they're gonna get away. Pansies. Oh, the Ryan's over there, okay. So they're still gonna get him. They're still gonna get, get him. He's dead. I have nothing, nothing against camels. Uh, but, you know, they're the enemy, so... Come on. That camel guy lasts a long time for this. Are you guys serious? I was gonna say, wow. Alright, let's end this and, um... I have to press K so I can see the end battle button. And I can, uh, Besides the victory for the Ostrogoths, we did lost 626 people. Not good. They only have 100 remaining, which might destroy their army altogether. Gonna keep our fingers crossed. It looks like some of our crossbowmen got annihilated. And this unit must have gotten charged. It's probably the one that got charged in. Uh, we're gonna take on the warriors. Uh, Nah, let's not take on the warriors. We don't want those guys in here. You have further orders? What can I say, man? I want, I want to, I wanted to kill them. I even said kill all the captives. Uh, but no. So. I'm gonna go down this way. All right. I think that's it for today, guys. Um, we've been going for a bit longer than I wanted. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. that's why I'm being besieged. I'm like, why is this damaged? All right, a bit longer than I wanted, maybe. Uh, but once we get all of these buildings working nicely, we'll have our income up again. And it looks like it's winter up top there, uh, but not here. So that's that's good. Um, good change of climate there, already visible. Okay, so where are you? You can probably move and not stay put. And this is a good spot to go. All right. That's going to be it for today. Like I said, please do share this out. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and comment. And hopefully I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.